but it was not all of joy. His prayers went first to the victims of the terrible earthquake, which happened on January 1st in Noto Peninsula, Japan. I take this opportunity to, to thank you and all the people that you represent here for the support and the solidarity provided. His Majesty's thoughts went also to those severely affected by the war and conflicts all around the world. He called everyone for cooperation to build peace through mutual understanding, respect, and most importantly, empathy. Let us reflect on this, go forward, and act. This national reception will be the last one I and my wife Atsuko will host here in Prague as we are leaving in two weeks' time. Madam Speaker, actually, you were one of the first Czech politicians that we met. It was in Moravsky Krumlov for the celebration of the return of the Slavetic to that town. Deeply inspired by this apex of Czech art, we used all the time we could for getting to know Czech people, culture, and history as best as possible. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for coming today to conclude our journey here. We are so honored by your presence. Since arriving in Prague in 2020, the security environment in Europe and the world has tra transformed dramatically because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Therefore, it has become even more important for our countries, which share fundamental values, to further strengthen our cooperation to tackle challenges in Europe, East Asia, and globally. Through these past three and a half years, the Japan-Czech relations have developed tremendously and went up to another level. And that was possible only thanks to your cooperation, your support, and your dedication. Thank you very much, all of you. I will just mention four points. Thank you for coming. It's uh, my honor to be here today and to have the speech on this special occasion to celebrate not only the birthday of His Majesty the Emperor of Japan, but also the friendship between our two countries. Indeed, the relations are very intense and warm. Officially, they are more than 104 years old. Even before the establishment of the diplomatic relations, our soldiers fought shoulder to shoulder against the Bolsheviks. And even though they did not prevent them from taking power in Russia, it was a formidable feat. The two nations kept influencing and inspiring one another despite the distance and geopolitical forces beyond their control. Emperor Naruhito himself is an admirer of Czech classical music, and it's surely not the only <coughs> one in Japan. The Czechs, on the other hand, are great fans of Japanese sports, especially martial arts. Remarkably, they are among the few foreign nations that succeeded in professional sumo competition in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> On a more <coughs> serious note, while the people-to-people -people contacts and economic cooperation never ceased, ceased to develop, they only, started, they only started flourishing three and a half decades ago after the fall of the communist rule in the Czech Republic. Among other things, in the 1990s, Japanese investors helped us build the free market economy. As of today, more than 270 Japanese companies create around 50,000 jobs in the Czech Republic. But there is much more than that. Both nations firmly believe in freedom and democracy, as well as in the rules-based international order which enables peaceful global cooperation and prosperity. Both nations understand very well, and recently this has become much more urgent, 
that our basic values, unfortunately, we have many powerful enemies across the globe. And we must closely cooperate with allies and friends to protect them.